What's up everybody? Welcome back to Using My Story. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to talk about Cocaine Bear. No, we're not going to talk about your baby daddy. This is actually a movie called Cocaine Bear and it's a story that is going to leave you amazed and horrified. So sit back, relax, and we're going to get started. Make sure you get some popcorn, some cup of noodles, some Reese's Pieces or whatever it is that you eat. We're going to talk about the Osito de Cocaina. So let's talk about the year of 1985. I was actually born in 1985 and uh, 1985 is well known for a lot of cool things. But a former narcotics officer named Andrew Thornton was working for a drug smuggling ring in Kentucky. One day he was flying a plane loaded with over 70 pounds of cocaine from Columbia to the United States. He noticed something wrong during the flight. However, something went wrong during the flight and Thornton was forced to dump the drugs out of the plane. This is where it gets crazy. The packages fell into a dense wooded area in Georgia and laid there undiscovered for several days. One day, a curious black bear, this wasn't Winnie the Pooh, this was no other than Cocaine Bear. He sniffed the packages and as he did, the white powder went up in its nose. So he became Scarface of the woods. This was Al Pacino meets Big Bear. The bear began to feel the effects of the cocaine and it was as if he consumed the energy drinks. So this bear was roaming around the woods all crazy. Like some of you, you know, you know some people in the hood are roaming around all crazy. This bear. This has really happened long before the cocaine took over. The bear became more and more agitated. He started turning into a gangster type of bear. And this could, this could be relatable to some of you people that you were normal. You were just minding your own business. You stumbled upon some cocaine and then you started changing. You became more agitated. His behavior changed so much that he became aggressive towards the other animals in fits of rage. It destroyed trees and shrubs in the woods. This bear was wilding out on the cocaine. Rumors started to spread that the small town, there was a new monster roaming the woods. Locals began to refer to it as the cocaine bear and everyone was afraid to go near it. So when this bear was examined, it was discovered that he had ingested, <laughs> he had ingested a fatal amount of cocaine. The story of the cocaine bear made headlines all over the country. In conclusion, the story of the cocaine bear is a true story and it shows how far reaching the consequences of drug smuggling can be. While it's certainly an unusual story, it's also a sad one. The bear ultimately paid the price for a human's reckless actions. So let this be a lesson to all of us when we engage in activities that are harmful to ourselves and others. We never know who or what might be affected by our actions. I think there's also something we could see in ourselves in this bear. You know, he was a normal bear. He was minding his own business. He ran up, ran into some cocaine and he just changed. He went off the deep end and that's how a lot of us have gone you know, because of addiction. So the bear, he wasn't able to get the help that he needed, but maybe you could get the help that you needed. Hit me up in the comments, hit the link in my bio. If you know somebody who's struggling with cocaine or even crack or any type of substance and they need help, feel free to reach out to me. A lot of people are reaching out. A lot of people are getting help, all kinds of different states, all type of different cities, different demographics. If you need help, don't, you don't have to suffer or struggle any longer. Hit me up and we'll do everything we can to get you the help that you need. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you next time.